Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends, and another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding a fella whose cells I've had for quite some time. Don't even remember where I got them. Anyway, it was recommended to me that I should probably put him together and hatch him, and that is exactly what we're doing right now. So this is... Bochai! And he is a legendary, he is magical, and he has two open ruin slots. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. Alright, so he is part of the Good Legions, and he is an adventurer. You can see he's got a little, uh, little sack with him there to go adventuring with. So, let's find him a home. Uh, I guess that's uh, as good a place as any. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess from the uh, animation of that special skill that he's probably support. So, let's see. All right, he's hiding in there somewhere. Okay, so there he is. This is... That's somebody we're going to rename. Yeah, we're going to rename him. He's purple. Maybe I'll call him Thanos. All right, so this is Bowtie. He is a legendary. He is magical. He's also immune to possession. That can be very useful. Very useful indeed. His strength is not too bad. It's not terrific. It's not too bad. His life is actually not bad at all. He's above average there, where 150 is usually about average. And his speed is pretty good. Speed's pretty good. So if he is some kind of support, uh, that's actually going to work out very well for him. So let's check out some skills. Okay, what we think deals low physical damage and we become deals moderate magic damage. Okay, he's doing moderate magic damage there. Kind of interesting. All right, and his special skill, the mind is everything. Removes all negative status effects from allies. All targets heal by 100%. All targets recover 100% of stamina. That can be very, very useful. That just turns a battle around. Gets rid of all the bad things, heals them all up, stamina. The only thing it doesn't do is resurrect, but, you know, if you wait that long, it's probably a problem, right? All right, so let's start feeding him because this guy actually has two evolutions. So let's get to it, right? Yeah, I make a big deal about that. There he is. Okay, he looks more like an adventurer now. So he's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so let's continue now, and we want to see some skills. So let's see the skills. Oh, wow, he glows in the dark. That can be very useful for nighttime traveling when you're an adventurer. Of course, you are actually notifying everything dangerous around you of your presence, but as long as you use it in moderation, right? All right, so let's go to level 7. Novice Questions. Deals moderate special damage. Gives stun immunity to ally team. Oh, that's, that's pretty good right there. I mean, it's not even just to one individual. It's to everybody. Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Definitely, definitely very, very nice. All right, so let's continue to level 10. Going for Refuge. Deals moderate special damage, removes all negative status effects from ally team. Wow. Okay, that's, again, very, very nice. Now, if you just mix them together, that'll be even better. Maybe that's going to happen. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's go to level 15 and find out. No fear. Deals moderate magic damage, gives blind and daze immunity to ally team. Okay, so immune to blind and daze. I'd probably more likely to go with the first two. I guess it really depends on who you're fighting, but I'd be more likely to go with the first one. Well, you know what? We'll just throw that there. Chances are I don't keep it, but just throw it there for now. Okay, so he likes to make his team immune to things. Okay, can you make us immune to damage? All damage? That'd be kind of cool. So let's see. And... Boom! The sun's protection. Deals moderate magic damage, gives possession, freeze, and stun immunity to... Okay, see, now that's what we're talking about here. Right there. Um, I would be hard-pressed to think that I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, because that is just really, really useful. I certainly don't need the one that gives stun immunity anymore, right? Where, which one was this? Yeah, that one. Yeah, I mean, I don't need that one anymore if he can just do that. Mind you, there will be one turn where they don't have this immunity, but I think we can live with that. 
All right, so let's continue. I like the mixing. I like the mixing. Level 25 and his final form. The Moon's Protection. Deals moderate special damage, gives a burn, poison, quicksand immunity to allied team. It's a shame they couldn't just say torture effects. Because I'm sure at the time in which this was done, those may have been the majority of them. There's just a lot more torture effects now, right? But still, that is very good. I might as well just put it there because, yeah, I don't need that one anymore. Okay, and he's having a grand old time there in his final form. He's got a nice little cloak on there now, too. Uh, excellent, excellent. All right, let's continue. He's definitely support, right? Level 30. Look within. Deals heavy special damage, gives nightmare and bleed immunity to ally team. All right, that's a good hit. Let me see here. I'm going to put that one there for now. I mean, if nothing else, it is a heavy special hit, right? It's just that I don't think I would go with the blind and daze immunity. You know, those aren't the things that are going to kill your team, you know? All right, so let's continue to level 35. Peace is beautiful. Target heals by 30%, may give regeneration to ally, removes all negative status effects. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting. Well, you know... Uh, all right, I'm going to I'm going to take this one just because this one could end up being more useful. You know, I like neg removing negative status effects from the entire team, but the thing about it is it could very well be that just one person is in deep trouble, you know? That's what I'm thinking. Of course, a group version of that would be awesome, but you know what? I'm willing to take it. I'm willing to take it. All right, so let's continue to level 40. Truth Follower adds 30% stamina to ally, adds stamina regeneration to ally. You know, I don't think I'm going to take that one. I don't know about that first one. But, I mean, it is a heavy hit, though. Well, I'm not losing that one because that one is just really useful. I mean, this is so specific, you know. But then again, this one is specific, too. Poison and Bleed. But that's a heavy hit. That's the thing about it is. I mean, this one is not too far off. And it does make you immune to three things. And poison or burn are very um, common. You know what the problem I can see is that he's got a lot of cooldown issues here. Let me think about this. Uh, I like the adding. I, I'm not losing that one. That one is that one is really really useful. This one, the heel, uh, the heel could, be, you know, I'm kind of hoping maybe that spreads out a little bit. We probably have maybe two more skills left, at least one. I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna stay with what I have for now. All right, so let's continue. And actually, probably only one more. Going for refuge. Nope. 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 We should have one more? I'm thinking maybe? I don't know. Analysis of the Truth. Deals moderate magic damage. All ally skills and cooldowns become... The oh, 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 oh. That's... That we got to keep that one. Oh, we have got to keep that one. That's a heavy hit. You know what? I'm not even going to care about the heavy hit because I think this... Nightmare and Bleed. Nightmare isn't really that bad of a dot. Bleeding can be, but this one, these guys are more common now. The Burn, the Poison. Quicksand, not so much, but Burn and Poison, very common. All right, I think I'm going to take this one out here just because this is very, very useful. It's a little expensive, but it's very useful, especially if it's zero cooldown, right? Right, so he can just remove the cooldowns from all his allies. You know, in that case, there's definitely going to be an argument for putting a big old stamina on him. You know, really, there's a good argument for that. All right, so let's see what we have here. I don't, I don't think we're going to get anything else. I think that was the big one. That was probably the big one there, right? Look within. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay, but, you know, nightmares... It's really, you're doing it for the bleeding, right? 
No, no, they really want me to have that one. And I'm pretty sure we saw everything, so let's just go and prove that. Yeah, stamina to ally. I, I, you know, if it was a team thing, yeah. But, I mean, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. There's others who do that better. Look within, yeah, that was the heavy hit. But, you know, he's not going to be a damage dealer. You know, the fact that it's nightmares and bleed also definitely led into it. The one that I kept was protection from burning, poison, and quicksand. Burning and poison are very common. They were like the first dots. Quicksand, not as common, but uh, yeah, the other two definitely fairly common. Going for the refuge. All right, so we did see everything. We did see everything. All right, so let's check out the skills here, or stats, I should say. Okay, strength, yeah, he's not really, not really very strong. I mean, he's not, it's nothing to write home about, that's for sure. His life is pretty good, so he's going to be a little bit hard to kill, especially if you were to put life on him, but I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't. His speed is pretty good. He could definitely benefit from some speed. Um, he's not going to be denial, but definitely you want him acting as much as possible. Um, I mean, you could, in a way, you could be like a, a proactive denial if he went behind, in front of the other team, and you knew the other team was going to use freezing, the other team's going to use possession. The other team is going to use stunning. Like if you see a big old Kihaku right up front and your bow tie can go first, well, you're just going to make everybody immune to freezing and possession. And then there's nothing he can do, right? So that's, that's, you just nullify the Kihaku at that point because he's just not going to be able to do the freezing and the, and the possession. Very, very useful indeed. So you could make an argument for proactive um, uh, denial then, right? Or I should say resisting denial. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at the skills here, the ones that I selected. All right. This was the big one. This was the last one. This is the big one. And this is one that you might want to consider stamina. I don't know about that, but you might want to consider stamina. Anyway, this is analysis of the truth. Deals moderate magic damage. All ally skills in cooldown become active. Yeah. So that means that all the skills the individuals in your team have used that are in cooldown, including himself, will instantly become active. That is just really powerful. And when you're talking about being able to do that every round, as long as you have stamina, that's just deadly. That is really deadly. So, yeah, that's a really, really good skill right there. I mean, it's got a high stamina cost, but I can completely understand it. Because that is really, really powerful. All right, and next we have the Sun's Protection. Deals moderate magic damage, gives possession, freeze, and stun immunity to ally team, requires cooldown. Three-round cooldown. So this is the one I was just talking about. This one here, you get this out in front of a Kihaku, he can't do anything. Because Kihaku's going to use freezing and possession. Well, guess what? Your team is now immune to those, so... Yeah, that right there is pretty darn nice. As I said, you could just put all speed on him and basically have him go ahead of somebody else's denial. And let me tell you, those three, those three are really going to take a lot of denial off the table. They really are. Because even though it's like possession, when you, when you give immunity to possession like that, it includes exclusive possessions. When you give freeze and stun immunity, it, it also means the mega freeze and mega stun as well. So this one here is really going to protect your team. So in terms of using this guy to get in front of everybody else's denial, yeah, that could work. The only thing it's really not going to help you with is the um, cooldown resets. But then again, that's what this is for, isn't it? Right? So, you know, the thing is, if you have somebody going ahead, you know, um, Dungeon Master or you have um, a patient cyber on the other team and they set the cooldowns, well, then this guy goes next and he does this and then your team is completely free and clear to do anything at once, right? So, yeah, this guy could really be a pain in terms of other teams' denial. Then we have this one. The Moon's Protection. Deals moderate special damage, gives burn, poison, and quicksand immunity to ally team, which means not only are you not going to be able to have those, if you have them, it'll remove them. I, I chose this one over another one. There was another one which actually did more special damage. 
But the thing is, it only gave immunity to nightmares and bleeding. Now, bleeding, if I could take the quicksand out of this one and put bleeding in there and put the quicksand in the other one, then yeah, that'd be great. Protection against bleeding is very useful. Yeah, the problem is that nightmares isn't really a huge problem. And two of the ones in here, burning and uh, poison, are very, very common. So giving immunity to those can really, really be useful to keep your team safe. And then we have this one. Peace is beautiful. Target heals 30%, may give regeneration to ally, removes all negative status effects. All right, now this is just a single target. Would have been nice if it was some sort of a group thing. But basically, you're trying to keep one individual alive. Now, there was another skill that did almost the same thing, but it was actually stamina. It would give 30% of his stamina back and give stamina regeneration. That's actually kind of interesting considering this skill again, in terms of using it on himself. That's an interesting question, but you know, I think in terms of support, being able to keep somebody alive just seems very good. Give them some health, give them regeneration, take all the bad stuff off them. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just really useful. Now, this guy is not going to win fights for you as a damage dealer, right? Everything he's got is single target, and I kept all of the medium ones, the moderate hits, right? I didn't keep, but again, his, his strength isn't really for that. That's not his job. His job is that he's going to do cooldowns. He's going to get rid of skill cooldowns. He's going to protect you against poison and, and all these other uh, torture effects. He's going to protect you against possession, freeze, and stun. He's going to do a little bit of healing on you and give you some regeneration and stuff. This guy is support. He's really good support, though. It's really tempting to actually put a stamina on him, but I think he's probably more useful with speed. I probably would go mostly speed with him. Well, I would at least two regular speeds, maybe a support one or just maybe a love, another one. I wouldn't put my best speed on him, but in certain circumstances, he could be very useful. I mean, if you're going to be facing a really fast individual who does possession, regular possession, well, he's not going to be affected. And then he can just use this skill right over here and remove it from the rest of his party and then they get to go then. So in that terms of that, he just has to go right after the other guy's done his damage. Mind you, he himself, he is only protected against possession. So if there's a stun who gets before him, he could easily be stunned. So you really have to figure out what you want to do with him. Do you want him to go way ahead? You want him to have denial speed and just get out in front and protect his team? Or do you want him to do cleanup afterwards, right? He's very, very good support. Very good support. And uh, I'm going to put him into the team and we're going to see how he works out because I think having him up to 100 and having him with some speed on him might be very useful in the future. I can see certain circumstances and wars and such like that that would be very, very useful for him. Anyway, this is Bowtie. He is support and he's really good support too. Can't wait to start playing with him. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.